One of my missions in life is to make people not hate math. A lot of people look at math and think they're the most evil shapes. Guys, this is a math class. Math shortcuts for real estate investors and business owners, how to get better at your math. If you guys like these classes, let me know because I can do more. I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying these though. So you you guys are enjoying these though, right here in, in live. You guys don't really have a choice. So class three, how to calculate change quickly in your head. If your circle doesn't inspire you, you don't have a circle, you have a K. That's a good one. That was a good one. We will use, so we're going to use totals that are below $20 and then we'll add to them. Okay, so. Let's say somebody, let's say you're paying, this by the way is very important. This is how I got very quickly promoted and impressed people when I when our, I was working at Burger King. Our cash register went bad. You guys know that story, I've told this many times. It's one of the be- most important reasons you need to learn how to do math in your head because it impresses you. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at each number individually. We're gonna look at, so let's say this is our, our number here. We're gonna say somebody pays with $20 to start with. Let's say the total is 457. You should be able to do this in your head in seconds, 319 or 784. How do you do this? So here's what we're gonna do. First, look at one number at a time. Let's just look at the four. four dollars right so what we're going to do is we're going to go one number above the four which is five dollars right now five dollars go one number above and then ask yourself what do i have to add to that number to get to the next round number if necessary and then go to the target amount so in this case it's going to be four dollars and 57 cents forget the 57 cents just look at the four dollars so how do i go from four dollars go up one number to five dollars how do i get from five dollars to ten dollars what do i need to add to five to get to ten five dollars right and then what do i add to ten to get to twenty ten dollars so it's going to be five dollars plus ten dollars or fifteen dollars i know it's you guys it's easy to get that, but when you're starting out, just do that. Five dollars plus ten dollars. If it's three dollars and nineteen cents, look at the three. Go to the next number above it, which is four. How, what do I have to add to four to get to ten? Six dollars plus. Remember, they paid with a twenty. Six dollars plus. Six six dollars plus ten dollars to get to the ten from the ten to the twenty. Right. If they pay three dollars, their change is going to be six dollars because that's I'm going to go up to the next number four. How do I get to four to ten? Six from ten to twenty, an extra ten. Ten plus six. Ten dollars plus six dollars. Sixteen dollars. Make sense? All right. Let's look at the next one. Seven dollars here. If it's seven. $7.84, go to the next number up, which is $8. How do I get from eight to 10? $2, and then from 10 to 20, $10. So the change is gonna be $2 plus $10, right? So it's gonna be $12, so, right? So let's say 457, they pay with a $10. That change will be five something, right? We're using $20, but if, that, if they pay with a 10, that would be uh, just five something because we're only going to five, right? Examples, do you have examples? Or are we supposed to use? Okay, all right. Well, let's do, what haven't we done? 284, let's do 563 and... 1184. No, we already did 84. Uh, 76. Okay, so let's say it's 284. What's their change going to be? We go to the next number above, which is $3. How do we get from 3 to, let's say they paid out of 20. 3 to 10 is 7 plus 10 is 20, right? So $17, right? Now let's look at the next one here. $5.63. Go for the next number up, which is $6. How do we get from 6 to 10? $4 plus 10, $14. $11. Let's go to the next number up, $12. In this case, we're going directly to 20, right? Because 12. So what's how, what do we have to add to 12 to get to 20? 8. So their change is going to be 8 dollars and stuff, right? In this case, in each of these cases, we know exactly what their change is going to be. It's going to be something. We don't we don't know the pennies yet, but we know that the dollar amount, right? Now let's look at the second number. Everyone, everyone's got that, right? No one anyone has any questions about that? No one? Is anyone, are we live? Are we doing any kind All right. Anyone have comments? If you guys have any comments or anything, please ask them in the questions. If you want me to go slower or anything else, just please let me know. If you're liking this stuff, I want to make sure you get this and that you understand this because you can really change your life, understand how important numbers are and it's a big confidence builder. Let's look at compliments because this is how we do the next part. Numbers that add up to 10 or 100, but this, we'll just use 10. So these these numbers are going to be 1 plus 9. So anytime you see 1, we're going to add 9 to it. Anytime you see 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5. Notice we've already done this because we're looking at how do we get to the next whole number. We add. So whenever you see 6, you know you're going to add 4. Whenever you see 7, you know you're going to add 3, right? Remember these numbers. We're going to use them a lot. Break that. We're going to break to get that in your head. We take a break and get that in your head. Okay. Is everyone good on that? You guys got that for that part? It looks like, yeah. All right. So let's go to the second number because remember doing the 457, 319, 784. Let's look at that second number. What we're going to do is get that number to 9. Okay. That's that's the second. That's the second part. If it's 57 cents, just look at this. We're just going to look at that second number, right? So what do we have to add to five to get to nine? Four, right? So it's going to be 40 cents, you know, something, right? What do we have to add to add to one to get to nine? Eight, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. Well, what do we have to add to eight to get to 10? Two. So now we know we're getting better. At, we're, we're, we're finding out the second number of what we have to get, how, what we have to do to get to, to get to this number. Are these examples? Or are we supposed to add more examples? Okay. So you guys got that part? All right. So now let's just do a third or final number. Then we'll do the examples all together. So seven, nine, or four. What we're going to do here is get this number, this last number to 10. So how do we get to seven? What do we have to add to seven to get to 10? Three. What do we have to add to nine to get to one or to get to 10? One. What do we have to add to four to get to 10? Six, right? The compliments we talked about. Now we can do the whole thing. Let's look at 347, or I guess we're supposed to do this together. Am I doing this right? Am I, am I not following the, the plan? All right, 347. Let's look at 347. Let's do the whole thing all together. 347, somebody pays with a $20 bill. Now, remember, we can start saying the answer as we get this out because we
because we know we went up to four. So let's say they pay with a $20 bill. Take this number, just look right here. Get this number up to four. What do we have to add to four to get to 10? Six plus 10 is what? 16, right? So the change is gonna be 16. Look at that second number. How do we get four? What do we have to add to four to get to nine? What do we have to add five, right? Very good, five, good job, right? And then what do we have, what do we have to add to seven to get to 10? Three, 1653, right? So you guys can start reading these answers out as you, in real life, if you ever do this, don't actually, don't wait. Just say the answer as you're figuring it out because it'll come to you. So, so if somebody pays $20, 648, what's it gonna be? So we have seven. How do we get from seven to 10? Three plus 10 is 13, right? Get that out of the way. So just say it and get that out of the way. Then 48, how do we add, what do we have to add to four to get to nine? Five, what do we have to add to, very good, right? Is everyone getting this? Is anyone not, is anyone not seeing how we're coming up with these numbers? No, everyone's getting this, right? All right, let's do 557. We go up from six, very good, 14. Six, four plus 10, and then it just becomes really easy to do. Then what do we get? 57, four, right? Because we had, how to go, how do we get the five? We're gonna focus on this five. How do we get five to nine? We add four to it. And then how do we get the seven to three? How do we get the seven to 10? We add three to it, 14, 43. Makes sense, you guys could all do this really quickly, right? Here are a few tips. Say the amounts out loud like you would to a customer. Look at each number and take your time. Say it as you figure it out. When will you use this to impress people to, is that class four? It should be further down. Remember the compliments, it fires the dendrites. Easy world, remember the more things that are easy for us, the easier, that the more things that will become easier as you move on. So this expands your easy world. Let's do a few last uh, examples here. 13, 58, 7, 49, and we'll say 18, 57. Okay, so let's do a few of these together just to make sure we're all clear. All right, so I'm not gonna say anything. Who is, okay, so 13, what do we do? Let's say they paid out of 20. What are they, out of, out of a 20? So if they paid out of a 20, how's that gonna be? What's the change? What do we already know the change is gonna be? Go from 13 to 14. How do we get from 14 to 26? So we know that the change is gonna be $6 and 42 cents. Very good, all right, let's go seven. 749, let's say they paid out of a 10. What would that be? $2 and something, right? $2, and we can quickly just look at that four, turn that to, what do we have to add to the four to get to nine? Five, what do we have to add to the one to get to? Now, what if they paid out of 20? What if, they, right, it's like very good, right? It's just gonna be, all we're gonna do is add 10 to, right? It's very easy to do. That's why we wanna do plus four, plus five, plus four, plus, you know, get, get to the 10 first and then just add 10 to it. 18.57, if they paid out of 20, what would it be? It's gonna be $1, right? Because we're going up 19. How do we get from 19 to 20? $1 and 43 cents, right? I'm only entering what you said, right? Got it? Very good. All right, so that's how you enter change. That's how you do change very quickly. If you guys want more math classes like this, go to bigrea.com. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Hey, 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 h